Cancer, hi. All right, let's get into your reading. Peek at your person. Starting off with the overall energy, we have shadow, recognition, and reward. Moving on. Triumphant success, victory, and success. Spiritual union, which is like two of cups and new beginnings. So I feel like somebody might be feeling you move on and they don't like it. Um, I feel like they could be lingering in your energy. I'm hearing that song, Linger. You have to let it linger. <laughs> I feel like somebody's kind of in the shadow here or has some shadow work to do. I feel like they want your attention or is trying to get your attention, uh, but they feel you moving on. I don't think they like it too much. So let's see what's going on. Cancer's person's current energy, current situation. Keep in mind, Cancer, it is a general reading. So when I say your person, I could actually be talking about your energy. So feel free to flip-flop and reverse it. Same to you, cross-watcher. All right, starting off with a hanged man, ten of swords, backstab, betrayal, painful ending. Some kind of clarity or change in perspective. Maybe how they hurt you. Betrayed your trust. What else is going on? Cancer's person. Oh, that's too many, but this one flipped out. Yeah, heartache, pain, disappointment. Justice. Some of you could have been married to this person, and they... Backstab, betrayal, painful ending could be third party situation or they just did something to really hurt you. I have Scorpio energy here. So you could have been dealing with another water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, something with family, long term commitment, loyalty, stability, burden. Family could be getting in the way of this too. The sun, so happiness, what about the happiness? Ignored, rejected. I feel like this person is now realizing that you were their happiness, but now they're feeling left out in the cold or bored, <laughs> rejected, ignored. All right, what got in the way of this? What's interfering? I'm hearing that song by Cheryl Crow. Um, and Kid Rock picture. I put your picture away. I, I feel like that's you. I feel like you're you're moving on. Does it hurt? Of course it hurts. But I feel like you're picking yourself up. You're dusting yourself off. Yeah, we have Hermit. So you could have blocked them. Blocked them. Stress, anxiety, sleepless nights, overthinking, ace of wands. What is that about? Interfering. Something with family. A family dynamic got in the way. We have Virgo, Sagittarius. I mean, this could be something where you were together. Something happened with the family and they sided with the family or betrayed your trust or hurt you some kind of way. Ignored, rejected, juggling, going back and forth. Maybe this person likes to get attention or attention seeking behaviors. I'm not necessarily seeing like a third party cheating. I'm seeing a third party with family getting in the way here. All right, how does this person feel about you, Cancer? I don't know, they feel like you're cold and cut off. They're watching you or um, looking at your socials to see what you're up to or trying to text you, but maybe you block them or you're not responding. So they're feeling like you're just cold and cut off right now. How else do they feel about you, Cancer? Yeah, you closed out a cycle that you're done. 
But they want to talk to you because you're their wish fulfillment. They always want to talk. They always want to talk. About what? What do they want to talk about? <sighs> Having a stable new beginning. They're feeling stuck. Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, Page of Pentacles. <laughs> whatever they did, whatever this person did, they know. Like, they're aware of what they did and how bad it hurt you and the burdens it created. I mean, if it... <sighs> I could see potentially maybe they were going through a divorce and that family dynamic that this person is divorcing or, or separating from, maybe tried to come back or is creating a wedge between the two of you. I mean, I could see a situation like that or they don't want to leave because they have children, family. They know they see it's they know they created a tower. They they know what they did. They have th three aces here with how they feel about you. Ace of Wands, Ace of Cups, Ace of Swords, and Page of Pentacles. All right, King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, the Devil. Cancer. This person is like, it's almost like now they're becoming like obsessed with you. Trying to get a hold of you, trying to talk to you, trying to get you back, trying to convince you or whatever it is. They're trying, but you got, you're, you're blocked. Like you, you blocked them. You put your foot down. You created boundaries. I'm hearing that song. I'm all out of love, but also lost without them. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like you have nothing left to give. You gave it and it backfired on you because you put that trust and faith and hope and love and emotion and energy and everything into this and they betrayed it and disrespected you. So now they see you moving on and now they're, they're trying to come back because they don't want to lose you. So... What is this person going to do? What are their actions or intentions here, Cancer? I, just, I feel bad. These readings have been a little tough lately. It's almost like the, the beginning of the year for all, all the signs is like the year of clearing out, you know? All right, trying to change perspective or get clarity. For reconciliation. So they're going to try, I feel like, to <laughs> change your perception or change your mind for reconciliation. Because they know they hurt you. The wheel, wanting to move things forward. Family. Dynamic, long-term, loyalty, stability, juggling, going back and forth, weighing pros and cons. See, that, that's, to, okay, commitment. So what, what are they trying to do here? Confused. That's the problem. That's the problem is... They done screwed up, hurt you, you pulled your energy back, blocked them, walked away, whatever you did. And now they're trying to come back to convince you why they had to do what they did and that they're sorry and whatnot. But they're not 100%. They're still confused. They're still going back and forth about whatever commitment and family thing that was that got in the way. 
they're still confused. So they're wanting to reconcile. They, they just want you to see things their way, that they're right. And that's not the case. You could be dealing with a fixed sign, somebody that's stubborn, or it could just be somebody who, oh, now I have Leo energy, uh, King of Wands, or somebody that has like a big ego. Because they do like attention, recognition and reward, they like attention. They like to be noticed, they like to be seen, or in the spotlight. The Fool. So that's what they're going to do if they were married to somebody else and told you they were going through separation or in a commitment, married commitment, whatever, going through separation, you know, they're single, solo, started seeing you, oops, they are going to eventually take a leap towards that divorce or separation, but First, they got to go through this confusing mess because they don't know what to do, but they don't want to lose you, but they're not quite ready to face facts with the other situation. This person needs to take time to heal and to get clarity and to figure out what they want instead of holding on to, to both, to both things. And that's what it seems like they're doing. They're holding on to two different situations and finding themselves completely stuck in the middle, hurting you, hurting probably the other situation and themselves. They need, they need to take a step back and figure out what they really want. Unfortunately though, I feel like it would be too late for the two of you because you don't want to be second best. You want to be the first choice. And this person is not necessarily doing that but they don't want you to move on and be happy with somebody else is what i'm seeing here so cancer what are you gonna do there you are feeling maybe breadcrumbed a little bit here you're moving on Let's see you're moving into calmer waters six of swords You're ending it, death card, you're ending it. Walking away. You have some kind of passionate new beginning that is a wish fulfillment. It's new, it's not from the past. Oh my gosh. <laughs> you have somebody brand brand new coming towards you. You are gonna be single, solo, independent, it's a wish fulfillment. There's a lot of attraction, passion, chemistry. So who is this new person? It leads to commitment. Or you might meet this person at a wedding, celebration, event. So I have three of cups and um, tied together with four of wands. So to me, that would be some sort of celebration, event, a wedding, a networking event, something like that. But you are going to go single, solo. I feel like that person's going to be single, solo. Strength, confidence, courage. It leads to commitment. So whoever this new person is, I don't want to spend too much time on this, but who is this new person? Scorpio? Or Pisces, a lot of water coming through. I think it's another water sign or Aquarius. It's a wish fulfillment. I have strong Scorpio and Pisces coming through with this new person. And you're here too. So could be a divine counterpart because I have the, the pair of King and Queen of Cups. It's, it's going to be a strong connection. So you could be saying, I don't know who this new person is. I haven't met them, yada, yada. It is a soulmate. It is meant to be. If you're leaving, you could be leaving an earth sign to go towards this water sign or vice versa. But you have someone new. If you may not have met them yet. You will soon because 
It's going to be through some sort of social event. Looks like it's meant to be. Pay attention to red flags. Know the warning signs of what an unhealthy connection looks like. Tons of red flags here. Tons of red flags. Have faith. The angels are working behind the scenes. Trying to guide you. So very important right now to follow your intuition. Pay attention to the red flags. Your gut feeling. Um, open yourself up to others. This is how you will create new friendships and attract a love relationship. Put yourself first. Loving yourself makes you more romantically attractive. Separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Make the effort. This love is worth taking risks. You are called to move forward. I feel like this is for that new person. Open yourself up to others. Putting yourself first. Knowing your value. Your worth. I mean, you could have been married to this person. I mean, it could be that situation too. So take it how it resonates. It's a general reading, all right? And I feel like there was a couple different ways I could have looked at this date. Yep. Courting, dating, ex-lover, memories, the past, old flame, nostalgic, mystery, unknown, enigma, illusion, confusing. You may never get the answers, you may never get that full closure, which is why loving yourself and, and healing, forgiving yourself, that kind of a thing is very important. Finances, money problems, work, material things, success. You may have loaned this person money <laughs> or paid for this person for things. I don't know. All right, letters. Could be first, middle, last name, initials. Could spell a name. Could spell a word of significance. Place it where you see fit. All right, we have Z, G, X, F, A, N, J, R, L, D, K. Z, G, X, F, N, A, J, R, K, L, D. Numbers could be birthday, anniversary, number of days, weeks, months, years, an angel number, an age. By the way, up top I'm seeing 6-6. Six, six. So we have 10-10, 6-8. Ten, ten, I'm going to roll a 10 again. 11. So 6, 8, 10, 11. It was 10, 10, and 6, 6. So June, August, October, November. Could be 68, 86. All right, zodiac signs. Could be strong placements in their chart, their sun sign. Or something could happen during that season, like cancer season, for instance. So we have Virgo, Scorpio, Pisces, and Gemini. I saw Pisces and Scorpio energy coming through. I saw heavy earth too, Taurus, Virgo came through, Capricorn. Um, could be any sign, you guys. It is a general reading, all right? Um, cancer, that is what I have for you this week. Sending you lots of love and light. Take care.